curls it's yolanda renee and today i'm finally coming to you guys with another natural hair video sorry y'all i still am having some issues with my mouth so i'm learning how to talk with my new lisp <laughs> I'm really excited to have Taylor and Skye on board to do more natural hair related content. So yeah, I still want to teach you guys and really promote natural hair because regardless if I'm wearing a wig or not, I'm still natural. I still love my natural hair and I still want you guys to understand how beautiful your natural hair is. But yeah, so today we are going to be talking about how to pre-poo and detangle your child's hair before wash day which is very important this video can help you as well not just your kids you can do the same thing to your hair i do the same thing to my hair um so basically a pre-poo a pre-poo what is a pre-poo a pre-poo is basically when you apply an oil or conditioner to your hair before shampooing so it's almost like a treatment before you shampoo on your dry dirty hair just to make sure that the shampoo does not strip too much of your hair I mean slather coconut oil onto her strands a lot of coconut oil so much coconut oil that her hair actually feels wet from coconut oil so I put a whole bunch of coconut oil all over her hair in four sections and I do bantu knots and then I put a plastic bag over her ha um, hair and let that marinate for about 15 minutes sometimes I'll keep it on there all day if we have nothing to do um, sometimes I may do it for a little bit longer so you can do whatever you want for 15 minutes with this cap on <laughs> Once your pre-poo has been sitting there for a, a minute, for as long as you want it to, that's when you go straight in there with water and shampoo. The hair is, is dry, so I do like to put water. So we have our little water spray bottle here. I usually just dampen the hair with water instead of going under the sink because again, we're ready to go in there with the shampoo. So you don't wanna rinse away the coconut oil. You want that coconut oil to stay there. Um, coconut oil is a natural moisturizer so you can just use coconut oil before the shampoo or you can double it up and add the coconut oil and then a really nice conditioner. Conditioners we usually use for our pre-poo um, are Giovanni's. I love Giovanni's products and because it's so big, it's so inexpensive, um, we like to use this for our pre-poos. Rather than our more, you know, higher end conditioners, we save those for just conditioning. But for a pre-poo, use your cheaper versions of your conditioners, even like our Cream of Nature um, conditioner that we just did a review on in styling tutorial. We use this. We have so many containers of this that we do use this for a pre-poo as well. Go ahead and add your shampoo and start, you know, lathering it on up. Um, so yeah, so once you wash your hair with the shampoo rinse, and usually one good wash is good enough, but it depends on how dirty the hair is. So you may have to shampoo again, shampoo as much as you want, and really focus on the scalp area. Um, once you rinse out the shampoo, then you can add your favorite conditioner, which again, we use various um, conditioners but we have been stuck on Eden Body Works lately, especially for the girls' hair. We love their Eden Body Works kids line, as well as the Coconut Shea collection from Eden Body Works. Mom um, detangled the front of my hair. Now she's going to show you how to do the back. Um, detangling is so easy, especially if you've already done a lot of detangling during shampoo. The conditioning and detangling part should be so simple. Um, I'm going to show you a few techniques and I do work in the girl's hair with four sections. That's so important to make it more comfortable for your girls, um, just to make it easier on mommy as well, or just easy for you if you're doing it to your own hair. Four sections are important and basically you follow the same steps on each section. You know, we work on one section at a time. So on that first section, you are going to have to section it a few times as well. Working in small sections 
so helpful it may seem like a lot of work but it definitely saves you a lot of time pain and frustration so we take a small section um, we start off with finger detangling we always go in steps so first you do finger detangling and basically you can just break um, the strands you can do a piano fingers technique where you put your fingers through the hair and wiggle them around like this and just pull all the snags out very gently and if your fingers get stuck just let go go back through and start doing your piano fingers again so piano fingers so it's so helpful trust me um, at that point you can use a wide tooth comb um, and you know comb through and once that feels you know right then you can use a detangling brush of your choice lately we've been really loving this Kimball Beauty um, bamboo brush so we've been using this brush and then once that section is fully detangled then you just move on to a next smaller section go through each one of that one section do a bantu knot and move on just repeat this process and of course rinse out the conditioner but um we are only going to be touching on pre-poo and detangling in this video coming very soon on if you want to do a blowout how to do a blowout how to do flat irons different styles so definitely stay tuned to this series and I hope you guys are enjoying it and again I'm so happy I'm able to bring you this content because I know you guys have been wanting natural hair content um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and also leave your suggestions below on hairstyles or any other type of natural hair related videos that you want to see. And remember, wigs are fine, but natural is beautiful. Stay natural, stay beautiful. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs>